In this video, we're going to look at critical path analysis in the context of an exam. This is the first of a two-part video, and this part we're actually going to look at the case study itself, information available to us. In the next part, we'll go through the answers. So as always, make sure that you go through the case study and any material you're given to see if there's any information that's going to be relevant to us. In this context, we're thinking about critical path analysis. So the firm we're looking at a company called Toytech. They make novelty toys and gifts. It's the sort of things you might find in stocking fillers at Christmas, a lot of items that you might purchase, sort of things sold through the gadget shop, interlocking bits of wood, you've got to work out how to separate them or put them together. That's the sort of thing we're looking at. They recently restructured, and as a result of that, they're actually now running late in preparation of its Christmas range, and particularly a lead product for that range for Christmas. For a new operations director, has outlined a timeline for developing a new product, which we've been given in Appendix B. A couple of other bits of information that might be relevant to us thinking about Critical Path. The company's current factory buildings are very old. Uh, they need to update them. They might have to do lots of work rewiring, replumbing, to actually help to bring those up to speed. They're currently 20 weeks away from Christmas trading period, and that's when they actually want to get this launched. So in terms of Critical Path, 20 weeks is how long we're looking at in terms of our window. And our machine director, recently appointed from his role as marketing director in the firm, has concerns over the speed of development and believes that the time allowed to gather and analyse the test market feedback should be at least six weeks. And we'll see in a moment, actually less has been allowed. So that's information that might come out of the case study. Pretty typical stuff. Appendix B, Table 1, shows us the activities that are going to go into our network diagram. So activities A to Y, we've got a duration in weeks for each of those. So this is market research, development of the product, change of the factories, as we mentioned, and getting ready to launch. Like my last video, you might want to pause through some of these aspects to make a note of it if you're going to attempt this question. And the other thing we've been given in the exam is a blank critical path. So this has been given to you. You'll notice, though, there's no early start times, latest finish time. So, that brings us rather neatly to our question. Board directors are keen to launch a new product in time for Christmas. Using the data in Appendix B and the case study, to what extent is this an achievable target? Justify your view. Again, this could be an 18 mark question. 